ladies and gents hello and welcome welcome back to chat chat quarantine has been lifted i'm joined by uh <laughs> by rito of retromation uh rhapsody Yo! of rhapsody plays and alexa Yo. of alexakid.com slash twitch uh, let's go let's build let's build the brewery it's time it's time we get real <laughs> What's going on I here, love that lad? you got his username on YouTube, but his Twitch profile. <laughs> uh, I hate it every, every second. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the Wholesome Boys are back. The Boys are back enough. in town, but not copyrighted. So, I mean, I guess I should probably explain what we've got going on here, right? So we've got a floor plan. <laughs> oh yeah, this looks for, crazy. We've got a floor plan for the brewery in the corpse of the big K building, the kitchen, as it used to be. Um, I think it should still be a kitchen, but you know what? I was overruled, uh, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, so now we've come up with the idea of splitting the brewery into four distinct sections, each of which is going to be worked on by a different member of the Wholesome Boys. Uh, Rito is doing this orange bit. And what is this going to be, Rito? What, what What's the plan for this, seating. this area here? Slash right. Lego land. Seating. Seating this slash Lego land. Oh. Okay. What is it? Seaweed. No, sea like, what seaweed. <gasps> what a the great underwater twist. Underwater brewery. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the idea. Can, All right, next section. have like one of those aquarium sections, you know? It's with true. And stuff. That'd yeah. be brilliant. I'll you role play as the shark. Sort of thing. Yeah. All right. Next. Next um, section. Okay. I mean, then, then we got the pink section over here. And uh, and I think this is you, Rapsty. You're you're in charge of this one, aren't you? What's, what's yes, the situation yes, here? Yes, it is. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be storage. What is blue though? I've just got to remember exactly what all of the roles are defined. Blue, blue is my bit, and blue is going to be production. This is where the okay. magic is going to happen. This is where the mead is going to be made, if you'd like. Um, it's going to get yeah. saucy in Seattle. <sighs> I, I was trying to think of like some alcoholic to rhyme with. No, that's a country. Saucy in sarsaparilla. <laughs> Saucy and sarsaparilla. Is that a... It sounds like an alcoholic drink. Is it, is it? It's not an alcoholic drink, but it is a drink. It's gonna get vodka Get some saucy vodka. spirits. Yes, yeah, saucy with the spirits. That's a good one. I like that one. Okay. All right. And then um, and then finally, we've got the green section. And this is you, Alexa. What's going on yeah. in the green section? Give me the There's lowdown. There's gonna be a little, like, outdoor seating beer garden type thing going on. Uh, we're gonna have some... some maybe a stage for some entertainment it's gonna look very tuscan and beautiful uh and it's gonna be great all right extremely glad to hear it that's uh that's all the talk about minecraft that we have to do in this episode <laughs> we just have to think about the outlay and then uh run through our different sections and do whatever the heck yeah time to talk about coronavirus for 30 minutes <laughs> I've been like I've been thinking about it constantly. Obviously, everyone's been thinking about it constantly. But the thing I've been thinking about in particular is: Do you address the elephant in the room? Do you talk about it? People are trying to escape away from it. What, what do you do? I mean, I just started a series that is quarantine with Tyler. So, I is I've been virus? doing a series of porn streams. So, <laughs> <laughs> there's a virus. Oh, also, yeah, no, there, there's a virus. Did no one tell you, Rita? No, I haven't left my home in uh, in years. It's like the people that were on German uh, German Big Brother or something who weren't informed about it <laughs> until recently or something. How were they not informed about it? Is the German Big Brother significantly different to the American and Australian Big Brothers? Because I'm pretty sure you have to get told in those. I, I think they eventually I'm pretty got sure it's illegal. Told. I think it's kidnapping if they don't tell you. I think that... <laughs> I know, right? I think that there was... Like, they weren't told and then there was backlash then they were told. I don't know. I also don't know if it was German. I also don't know if it was Big Brother. I also don't know if I'm telling the truth. <laughs> did it actually happen? <laughs> it it totally could have. Could you imagine? If it did, though? <laughs> I can't actually. I can't actually imagine something like that. Happened. Well, then, it's as good as real. <laughs> right? I mean, he's sure. right. <laughs> You can dream it. You can believe it. Is that how it works? Um, okay. All right. Yeah. I can. I, I mean, I used to. I used to dream about being a fish, but I mean, I don't think that's ever likely to happen. I did you? Told. Did you? I did. I actually used to dream as a fish. Like a specific before. kind of fish? Um, I don't know if it was a specifically defined fish. I just thought a lot about being a fish. Um, uh, were you eat like seeing through the fish's eyes? Yeah, but also like in third person, you know, like Mass Effect style. Okay, okay, yeah, 
I, I see it. I mean, perspective is a little bit weird in dreams sometimes. What would yeah. you do as a fish? <laughs> well, I don't know. What can you do as a fish? You just swim around, don't you? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm asking I've seen, you. I've seen Finding not... Nemo once or twice. and You do a lot more than just swimming around. I don't know. I, don't, I, I believe film. there is the a line in there time? that says, just it's keep swimming. Around. Just keep swimming. <laughs> I'm pretty sure is a very famous line from that movie. <laughs> it's so. very true. It's the truest thing that you've said all day, Rito. You don't know that. It, the day is short, so... <laughs> I could say something else. That could else. easily have just been his first thing. It's true. See, look, I said another thing. Well, actually, true. day's short for me, I mean. Oh, <laughs> I heck, just heck, I lied then. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> line, Rito, line again. Right. Give me Everyone give me a status update. Go. Lickety split. I have no idea what I'm doing. Do you mean okay. on the in-game status or like in real life? I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, in-game or IRL? I, I you know what? Go go in-game first, and then and then uh, and then give me your hot takes, Alexa. Go for it. <laughs> Might like do I have to have a hot take to this? Of course. Yes, yeah, I've heard you've got some hot like coronavirus it. take. I would like to hear them. Oh. You can't say that word, Rhapsody. What are you doing? You're gonna get uh, demonetized. The coronavirus is just the flu. Don't right? say it. Don't oh say it. Just call it the virus. <laughs> this, this, I you're hate gonna get us that this. warning below the video that says we're about to be deleted for misinformation. Oh, crap, I hate this. <laughs> I can't Guys, believe I got excited for this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, I want to uh, take my childlike wonder back, please. <laughs> Reality sucks. Mm. <laughs> Fragile water shard? Reality sucks. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Reality sucks. You can say that again. Uh, repetition sucks. Uh, there is a, there is a, like a performance <laughs> aspect of me, like a like an absurd performance aspect of me that loves the idea of just doing a forty minute episode of you two just saying that back and forth. <laughs> Reality sucks. We did already kind of have that episode where I like slagged off Rito and then uh, he was quiet for the entire episode. <laughs> I remember that. We did have that episode. <laughs> I mean, before I suppose, I mean, we still have time to do the hey, how was your past two weeks of sitting in your house doing exactly what you're doing right now? Um, mm. But that, here's a good good topic. Favorite moment from the Ho Wholesome Boys. From the Wholesome Boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, can I go first? Because uh, mine immediately comes to mind. Yeah, go please. Wait, it, it was when we were talking about uh, both you and Rito's fathers playing games. And oh, like that, that was just like a nice wholesome moment. I went back and re-listened to it recently because I was just like, I remember that being like a really like feeling good and like enjoying yeah, that I, conversation. I, I remember when we, we actually recorded this series. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I was looking at it nostalgically like, when will my Alexa come back from the wall? <laughs> Oh no, what has happened over here, guys? <laughs> Come to the tree farm real quick. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's not good. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! It is an impenetrable fortress of wood. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. Actually, interestingly here, you can kind of see the rainforest effect. The top ones have created a canopy that is preventing the ones on the bottom, the saplings, from growing. Because they're strangling out all of the life by taking all of the uh, the sunlight. Oh, thank God that we came on for biology. Uh, eat the yeah, rich trees. Science <laughs> over here. Eat the rich trees. Agreed. Uh, all right. Can we, can I, okay, I'll give, I'll give you a hot take, Alexa, since you're not offering any juiciness up. Um, I think biology I mean, I, is the least asked, sciency of all the sciences. I asked what, what your favorite moment from the Wholesome Boys was. Rhapsody gave it, then the rest of you ignored the question. I feel like I've done my part. I didn't ignore it. You said, come look at this freaking tree. I mean, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fantastic tree, though. It is a great tree. It's my new favorite part of the series. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Actually, I won't be. I'll be here in like an hour. That's, that's pretty weak week excuse me yeah orbital what was your favorite part from the uh, the wholesome boys so far um i don't know probably when i tried to build um a kitchen uh that was probably my personal highlight um followed swiftly by my personal biggest disappointment when it was brought <laughs> down in a uh what a fit of destruction 
It was almost all of our gold and all of our iron. I know. And it pains me that it wasn't all of our gold and all of our iron, frankly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really much. should have finished the job. I really did try. But me and Rito, we were only, you know, two individuals. Can only do so much. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We sometimes, tried. We sometimes really you dream too big. That's true. And other times, you, you mean don't too dream big. big enough. Exactly. Dude, which one? I'm was gonna it? hit Sorry. you with. I'm gonna hit you with an awesome moment. When Rito put that horse in prison, I hadn't <laughs> laughed harder in a long time. Honestly, <laughs> I, I thought that was absolutely hysterical. Uh, I was really sad that I was away from both of y'all for that episode because I only just learned that he put a horse in prison. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> it was, it was, it was really <laughs> yeah, it was great. Um, hmm. uh, who, okay, who's doing the beer garden? Can I get some lights in the beer garden? Because I've just got a, a witch who's throwing, I don't know, cocktails at me. I'm assuming it's cocktails. Yeah, that, that is how it works. Yeah, we should capture a witch. <laughs> I'm making a bartender. Oh, yeah. that's great. We need to get a really like sexy name for the bartender. Do we you know? Carol? No, that is, Carol that is, is absolutely hot. not. That is a bad bartender name. <laughs> Sorry, any Carols out there? Wow. Vanessa. Wow. Brittany. <laughs> I uh, I used to have like a, a real soft spot as a kid for the name Joan, and it was because I was uh, I liked Joan Jet. <laughs> That, that's wholesome enough. I can live with that. Blinkist? Yeah. <laughs> so anytime, like, because I, 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 obviously there's creative writing and stuff like that you have to in, just, uh, do in school around that time. Uh, every time I would just write it about Joan. <laughs> I mean, that does raise an interesting question because, like, I kind of used to do this same thing. Because I, I used to write a lot when I was uh, younger. And mm -hmm. every time I'd write something... Like, the guy would be named Todd, and the girl yep. would be named... Don't know why, but... Orbital uh, and Rito, did either of you have any presets for the names that we'd use for things like that? Or just for broader things as well, like if you have to name a character in a game. Mm. Mm. I feel like Outside I of obviously great. naming it after yourself. It's a brilliant question, actually. A really good one. I'll, I'll tell you, uh, the one that I had for a, a male character was usually John Durkhart because I thought it sounded like a kind of like name for a male that would be in a, a, a big media project. Yeah. A big media product of an adult variety by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you heard me. It's uh, wholesome it's family. <laughs> you ain't wrong though. Like... I mean... I feel like I am strictly correct. Yeah, you you definitely are. I was thinking the same exact thing. Yeah, no, you definitely are correct. I was making a lot of adult projects while I was eight years old. <gasps> Get him. <laughs> Get him? You, are you the police? Yes. I mean, yes, look at my outfit. Just because I haven't enacted I any law in forever you. doesn't mean I am not the police. Look at me. I put on my outfit. Yeah, what do you, what do you think? I've decided to enact law today. I put on my outfit. Decided to enact law today. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. I still need to get an actual outfit for my character rather than just inertially sticking with the Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon? Sailor someone. Venus, Mars. I think? The costume I got ages ago. Right? Mars, sure. It's Mars. Fake fan. Ah! Um. <laughs> the monsters are a lot. Whoa! And Manny. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like the person that's in charge of the beer garden should uh, put what up some appropriate lighting four, in the area. There's four friggin' areas in this thing. Why are your other areas not lit either? Oh, I'm because the light. Sorry, just because. Have you not heard? One is outdoors. Have you, have you not heard I'm the iconic saying? Making mine lit. Get lit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I forgot. I got a stupid little zombie after me. Well, I don't know if it's stupid, but it's definitely a little <laughs> wow. zombie after me. should have lit up the production area. Okay, by the way, I have a serious problem uh, with the production mm -hmm. area, Alexa. Uh, and that is is that I have absolutely no idea how to do the production. Like, even slightly. Like, nice. just completely no idea. 
I mean, that is a good start. Well, I've, well, I've just got one technical bit of machinery. A brewery. I have no idea what that block even does. So... It's all downhill for me. I'm gonna take a wild uh, stab and guess that it brews. Rhapsody. Could I... Mm -hmm. Could I make a... I feel like... Uh, What's up, friend? You, would you mind going, like, out one block more? And then just, like, building onto this blue bit? Because I've just like I've just realized that I'm supposed to have removed this blue bit in conjunction with. Uh, would you mind yeah, just fine. like moving everything back? Would that be alright? Cheers. It it makes no difference to me. In fact, it, this is exactly the right time to tell me because I haven't even uh, started on that area. That's yet. what I was. That's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah. So that'll just make everything look a little bit better. And you can put um, like windows through into my bit if you want. Up to you entirely. Okay. Um, so, Vein Miner appears to be working regardless of whether or not I wanted to right now? <laughs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> did, uh, is anyone else noticing this? I just moved my whole perimeter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, nope, not me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nope, not experiencing that, to be honest, so. <laughs> well, I'm just going to be very careful while I build. <laughs> I thought it only did, like, in a very small area around you. I didn't think it was, like, the entire It's thing. It's a lot of things that are connected. It'll do. Everything the light touches, have, like... I think. Yeah. <laughs> Long live the king. <laughs> Long live me. Oh, what's this? Did you guys have, like, a favorite villain from an old... The either like childhood movie or cartoon or something like uh, uh, yeah someone you were supposed to not like but you were like yeah no i like them jafar that's a hot take i think yeah i don't know what the redeeming factor of jafar is, jafar is. yeah i don't think there's actually anything you guys about. didn't oh like, come on you don't they need gave to him okay. iago to make him more likable and iago is voiced by gilbert goffrey <laughs> <laughs> it's a bold move All right you know what? Screw me for sharing my intimate <laughs> secrets about who I like. Your as intimate a Jafar I, secrets. My intimate Jafar secrets. I've learned. I've learned for next time. Thank uh, you for the episode title, by the way. I, <laughs> intimate I Jafar like secrets. I'm ready. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think a common answer would be Ursula, but I. I actually haven't watched The Little Mermaid. Is that a common answer? Ursula I, is a garbage like a human. Of... What are you talking about? <laughs> Ursula is Please, Dad, Jafar not is a... not. <laughs> He's relatable. Wait, how is <laughs> he relatable? <laughs> what Arabian Empire have you tried to use, sir? <laughs> That's none of your business, to be honest. Um, <laughs> very personal question. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be the first one to say it so that we can and get all of our respective comment sections to start, start like the hype train going like on twitch uh after wholesome boys minecraft is done i think aladdin wholesome races boys. on snes <laughs> <laughs> i'm down yes that is exactly what i was gonna say thanks for finishing finish the same sandwiches yep. go, go ahead. <laughs> yeah that's how it works <laughs> <laughs> we finish this same sandwich <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think we need a wholesome boys Civ six. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm pro this. Um, yeah, I don't know what what else. You, what I mean, what, what, <laughs> what else do you what else you want say? from him, Alexa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw me for Oops. asking for his opinion. <laughs> I think it sounds fun. I think I do sounds have fun. Civ six, so yeah, I'm down. I, uh, I, I, watching, I, watching Orbital, uh, fulfill his Jafarism by conquering the Arabian Empire sounds, that sounds like a good time. Isn't it Salomon in, uh... It is, I mean, it's in Saladin, Arabian? not the, you know, pink fish that goes in rivers in Canada. <laughs> that's Sa- that's Salmon. <laughs> Those are rivers with salmon in. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I got a question about the uh, the whole quarantine situation for y'all. Yeah, I'm guessing 
each of you have gone out and done a little bit of a cursory supply shop. Not like hoarding, but, you know, getting yourself okay, some stuff to hang out with. What was your treat yourself thing? Did toilet you get yourself paper. any, like... Toilet paper. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was my <laughs> treat myself. If toilet paper yeah. is considered a treat yourself kind of thing, then I am severely sorry. No, I had to, <laughs> I had to order my toilet paper on online. <laughs> Uh, I gotta think about that one because I I there was I mean, something. I okay. I can I can go first whilst you're thinking, Alexa. If that's all right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so one of the crazy things is, um, just I don't know. It's like a first world problem sort of thing. But one of the things that, um, you know, the shops the shops are fine. There's nothing. There's nothing that like wasn't there, apart from toilet paper, weirdly, but whatever. Um, but it was just like a pepper, right? Just not like a regular bell pepper. And it's mm -hmm. like, there was like one singular bell pepper left, like when I went. And I was like, wow, that's, that's crazy. That's just, that's just bananas, you know? No, it's and, banana uh, pepper. and that was like a banana the treat thing, even though it was normal, it was like a normal, like food, staple food source. I just, just, just really weird. Quick question, bell pepper, that's a capsicum, right? I, I don't know. What are you saying to me? Yes. I, I think it's a bell pepper. I would call it a pepper. I think it is. But I, I think I this is like an eggplant aubergine situation. Excuse me? What? Eggplant aubergine situation? Pusheen? Yeah, the eggplant regime. The eggplant regime? No, no, no. It's <laughs> Orbital's going to conquer that one, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's because uh, we'll call it eggplant, and then in the UK, they'll call it aubergine. Oh, okay, okay. Aubergine. That's, That's like... It's true. It's a cilantro... Cilantro... I'm... Uh cucumber situation okay wait whoa, what, whoa, wait, whoa, what? Whoa. Cilantro <laughs> cucumber? No, i'm even whoa, more confused up, you could get me with a zucchini up, cucumber <laughs> i could mistake those for one another but <laughs> I, I just accepted it for a second <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna need a lot more Are they, do they not have cucumber <laughs> Just, I'm just gonna it's... need a lot more. That's <laughs> real. I just need more than what I'm getting. <laughs> Do any of you have the uh, the gene? You know, the cilantro tastes like soap gene. Me. Uh, I do not. I love cilantro, but I'm. Mm. My girlfriend hates it, and it tastes like soap to her. It tastes yep. so was, bad to me. I was, I was Same. talking about this. I was literally talking about this today with somebody. Oh no, it was on stream. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah it was on stream. I was talking about. I was talking about it. Just, I don't know, that's completely irrelevant to the conversation, but... <laughs> no, it's uh, quite relevant. It's yeah, what did you say? What we were talking about. <laughs> I, I just said, I remember Rhapsody, for Rhapsody, it tastes like soap. That's that's mm -hmm. the thing. For me, it's totally fine. I, I don't I, get it. I think it's delicious. 50% of people hate it, apparently, though. Yeah. Ooh, whole 50, damn. Yeah, feeling, a whole 50. Feeling good about it being a whole 50. I thought I was in the minority. No, like, it's genuinely like a gigantic proportion. All right, so here, here's a question. Uh, once again, going back mm -hmm. to the topic of, you know, the pandemic that's taking over our world while we play Minecraft. Um, yep. While you were at the grocery store, instead of your treat yourself thing, what was the one thing that you either saw or went to get that was, like, basically out? Oh, toilet paper, tissue paper, uh, that, paper towels in the kitchen. you were also <laughs> confused about. Mm. All of oh. toilet paper, tissue paper, kitchen. I mean, yeah, I'm with you, but tissues. I I have some weirder ones. Okay, and they are H hit, hit us. Okay. Give us give us your hot takes. Baited breath. So hit me. First, so I've gone to the grocery store twice during this pandemic now. At the very very beginning, no potatoes. Mm -hmm. Like they just straight up didn't exist. Yep. Um, no tortillas. Hmm. And no taco seasoning. No taco. Apparently, okay. I just bought some during taco a seasoning. pandemic. Everyone just tacos. <laughs> yeah. Which I, I'm not really against it. To be fair, it's probably because it. it's like really easy to. I don't know. Like you can yeah, make but make, like make extra. Other, you can make it. And you can make things. extra really quick, and it keeps for a few days. I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah. get it. It was it was an odd one though. Um, and then yeast, no yeast, because yeah. everybody's making their own bread. Everyone's which making is, their own bread. That's wild to me. I think it's because it goes <laughs> bad. 
and they don't want to buy the fresh stuff, so they want to wait a little bit and then they want to make it in a little bit. Yeah. I mean, not being able to access any bread is going to be really good for my keto diet. <laughs> Finally going to get started. <laughs> no, but... Who the hell stole my crap? <clears throat> oh, uh... <laughs> Rhapsody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's a who, uh, who smelt a Delta situation in the person saying it was me. Um, the one that I found was also potato was just completely missing. So I just got sweet potato because that was still there. I don't know. It seems like a lot of things revealed that people don't necessarily know that you can substitute certain ingredients for other ingredients. Okay. You wanted the Alexa hot take of the day. <laughs> you can't substitute sweet potato for potato. You're wrong. No. Sweet okay. potatoes are in every way possible better than any other potato. 100% agree. Why, is, why no. is this a hot take? Come on. Why is this a hot Dude, take? I know a lot this of people don't even... like sweet potatoes. Are they... You, and going. you refer to them as people? Keep That's going, what I find Rita. amusing. Keep going, Rita. Don't say anything. Don't let them know. Don't let them know you're hurting. Oh, you're <laughs> don't, 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 let don't let them know you're hurting. Don't let them know you're hurting. Don't let them see you cry. The, the vegetarian <laughs> among us is not a I, it's, the vegetarian among it's us. It's a very it's case a by case basis. Food. Very case by case basis will I like a sweet potato. Okay, sweet, let's go by the case by case basis. Kind of person. I hate yeah, sweet, what about potato a sweet potato fries. Wedge? Don't like them. I don't like them. What, what is, what is the problem that you have with them? I don't like that they're sweet. What is? I, I don't like that they're sweet. Sweet killed my father. Yes. <laughs> Can no longer play Rocket League together. I I don't like that they're sweet. Is that, is that, you know? It feels. Well, speaking of which, I, that's that's actually, mostly. It. I have an update on uh, Rocket League with Dad. Mm. Because now that I'm home, I I. Uh, was having a conversation with my father and I brought up that I had recently talked about Rocket League with dad and he was like I thought nobody watched that and I was like I mean a couple hundred people watched that and he was like why <laughs> <laughs> so then I was like you know what if we uh, ever uh, get the chance I'd like to record another one he was like you know what I'm, I'm in <laughs> so I, I bought it on my I, I bought it on my switch uh, since I I haven't touched my PS4 in a very long time. And uh, once I get my recording Elgato back, which is currently sitting in New York quarantine, and I can't go up and get it, uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to record it. So congrats. You guys did it. You, you, Hell yeah. You, you saved my family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wholesome boys strike again. Yep. We did it. I like that usually strike again is like a bad situation, but here it's just like, no, a good thing happens. Hold we some get it. Strike again. Exactly. <laughs> strike again in a good way. <laughs> Why are you doing like a weird impression? <laughs> that's my voice. The whole story is they strike again. <laughs> that's, that's my voice. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rude as hell. Unwholesome boys strike again. <laughs> Unwholesome boy, strike again. Wholesome? My wholesome boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, it's really sad that we're sitting here building a brewery in the rain that nobody's going to be able to go and get a drink at because we're quarantined. <laughs> <laughs> there is something quite depressing about this. I will agree. <laughs> it is quite sad, actually. Yeah, it is very optimistic to be building a beer garden in a seating area. <laughs> it's also like we gotta poor we gotta get on choice, delivery. To be honest with you, or drive through. Can, can oh. we make can we make oh, sure that the there are bars around this area that will deliver alcohol to? You. Yo, Rito, you just that, that's another like you just saved the series. That's another like seven episodes. We gotta call it. We gotta call it deliver brew. Uh, oh. Oh! <laughs> we got it. Trademark that, somebody, quickly, quickly. <laughs> You're the city Run. manager. Put, put, go something, go. put something in, into the court chat. Put something in writing, all right. <laughs> Sign. Uh, 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 deliver brew. Trademarked. 
Copyright reserved. Uh, here. There we go. It's official. All right. It's on paper. It's a contract. Uh, there's a notice. Um, also, I'm done with you losers. I'm away to make a million. All right. See you later. <laughs> All right. He's gone. Now we can talk about the real plan to make Bruba. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. <laughs> no, you, you, you guys just opened a can of worms for me, though. I'm, I'm going to make, like, a hippie mini van that delivers uh, our brood goods. Oh, hell yes. Please do. Yes. Yes. Why are you putting on a weird voice? <laughs> <laughs> Who? Oh hell yes, it's the Wholesome Boys. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> oh, okay. Heck. Uh, how are you guys? Is, is uh, stuff going along for the end of episode one mm. of this recording session? It's actually episode like twenty-five. I don't know. <laughs> I think I spent too much time talking, so I would, like I tried to put all of my building to the back of my brain. So all I made is a perimeter. <laughs> all right. You're killing it. Can we can we have a little can we have a little, like at the end of the episode? I mean the episode the end of the episode. The end the episode is ending. Why don't we have like a little show around, a show and tell? A little show and tell. Okay. Everyone accumulate in the, the black zone in the middle. No. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna right. I'm just gonna finish one tiny oh my God. What is your problem? <laughs> just wanna fit make sure that it is ready for visible eyes. Wow. I mean Okay, who do we want to who do we want to start with? Rito? Okay. Uh, we're starting with you. Give us give us a show and tell. Like pitches pitches like you're selling the place, okay? Imagine a seating area. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Now what? <laughs> That's, then you've done a better I, job than me. <laughs> where's the fish? Where's no, the fish? I, I definitely haven't. This looks really, really good. It looks great. Oh really? It's like a cross between Mordor and an aquarium and Hell um yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like a castle I guess, like a moat. I guess I did say that I was going to go with blood moat style, but I just I, I wanted to, you know, you great. have to sacrifice some of your creative vision to get people to want to show up. So I guess I used water instead so of human blood. You sacrifice <laughs> sacrifice things. You sacrifice. I sacrifice human sacrifice. <laughs> The ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go, Alexa. What's all right? What's cooking? Oh my I'm god! Just gonna, I'm just gonna real quick like bite because me. I hate this. <laughs> we're we're far enough in the series that I can cheat and feel good about it. Uh, so here's here's the beer garden right now. Um, nice. We got a little walkway in. We're gonna have a couple of you know seating areas on this upper deck. Uh, possibly like in this wall right here, you know, nice. kind of like a, a singular single seat because you're alone at the brewery. Cozy, exactly. Uh, and then we have kind of a, a patio that's going to have some seating, maybe some little umbrellas that you can sit at. Mm -hmm. uh, this right here is a little stage. If anyone wants to perform, we're going to find a way to put like a drum set or something here. Uh, have the Wholesome Boys concert at some point. Uh, and then okay. we're also going to to have a little fireplace right here i just decided and it's gonna oh. look very cozy yeah is the is the lava pool in the distance is that for i mean is that for uh, uh effect? i mean it wasn't that quite. That? i do intend on having maybe like some some cherry trees behind this to kind okay. of signify the origins of chet uh but hopefully we won't set them on fire with okay and hopefully like no it. one will just like suicide during the uh during the stage shows mm -hmm. unlike what just happened <laughs> you've, done a, you've done an excellent job alexa Thanks. excellent job it looks Extremely absolutely well done. do you guys do you guys do you think that the uh the little canopy should extend all the way over to the stage or do you think that the, we should have some open space here i kind of like the al fresco area all right mm. i mean you could always like if you wanted to put like a canopy over the stage you could always put like a canopy into the grounds like over here I think I'm just gonna like round it seating. off a little bit. Ooh, I kind of like, like that too. Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. I might extend this area out a little. 
Yeah. I mean, you know, world's your oyster, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. My my bit next, since uh, <laughs> since that's on route. Ignore the pile of uh, dirt in the middle of the room. That's uh, an access stairway. <laughs> um, my my plan my plan with this area is to put the 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 brewing machine uh, the one brewery machine somewhere on this table somewhere or maybe instead of a table uh, in this location, but because I don't really understand the mechanics of brewing and grain slots, ingredient slots, yeast slots, all that stuff, we're gonna have to do that in the next episode where I faff around with the actual mechanics of producing a brew. <laughs> Reader, little... Wow. I promise, I promise you this is not a roast. I want it to come across as, as wholesome and kind as it can. This looks like the area where the Greeks debated democracy. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. It looks the like we're not was... going to make brews, but we're about to make revolutionary systems of governance. That's better, honestly. I, which which is more which was... is more required? Uh... I'll go with the brews. <laughs> Who needs brews when you got revolus? The look, the look I was going for was <laughs> sterile. Oh, I see. Like, yeah, like white marble, sterile. Yeah, no, I, I, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> like, you know, if you were gonna catch, if you were gonna catch the virus, where would you like to be treated in this room? Mm -hmm. right? That's the look that I was going for. And now we have the. Uh... Bre wholesome boys brewery and hospital <laughs> you know wholesome, okay some boys brewery and medical facilities okay, i mean there, there's a brewery nearby in uh in sydney australia that actually decided to just start making instead of gin hand sanitizer because they had the stuff and the equipment to make it yeah. and there was a shortage oh, yeah. there's That's lots nice. here too as well actually well yeah, yeah. Uh, anyhow, uh, this area at the moment, I've kind of just been building out the perimeter and floor of it. Uh, looking at all of the rest of your areas, I feel like, uh, I definitely wasted a lot of my time here. Uh, I don't really still have a vision for what I'm going to be building here in terms of storage, because surely it's like giant vats and I don't really know which items to build for those. So I'm just trying to make the perimeter so that I have the ability to then vary it later with chisels and other pieces of material to make it look actually good. See, I I figure like you build big like barrels, like barrels out of wood, and then like yeah. we can just stick like the the actual required technical equipment inside those barrels. If you know right. what I mean. I agree. You okay. know that would I don't know. That's that's my suggestion yeah. anyway. I'll because, try to I mean, design a barrel in the next episode. We we can probably store the actual liquid in the tanks, like the build craft tanks that we were using for the oil, so we mm -hmm. can like have the barrel there have the tank inside of it because yeah here, let me see some uh because you you could do something along these lines but i just need to grab some glass go we have two glass well if we're gonna have to get more glass in order to show that off we should probably do it in the next episode that's a very, Here, very I, good got, I got one tank. I got one tank. Here. Quick you got a one. tank? Yeah. yeah. While we're still on the topic and not going to talk about, you know, the coronavirus. You, you got, like... You are going to get demonetized. You're going to get all of us demonetized. What some, are you doing? Something like this, right? Fool. Something like this. And then you could get the pipe on the bottom, right? Uh-huh. I mean, that looks terrible. <laughs> that looks <laughs> it doesn't garbage. look like a barrel That looks all. awful. <laughs> it looks like BB-8, like, died in the middle of a <laughs> <laughs> but what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's about to take off into space. It does. All right. Um, well, you know what? On that note, on that wonderful note, uh, ladies and gents, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, tune into the next episode of the Wholesome Boys Do Chat and finish off building a brewery and actually start making some beer. Uh, check out everyone's channel linked in the description. Uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. 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 Bye bye. <laughs>